r square we have two results in front of us just look at them two results two results in front of them now let me show you several examples on this first example example is if center is 2 3 radius is 5 find the equation of circle find the equation this is the example let us read the example once again if the center of the circle is 2 3 and radius is 5 find the equation uh, no, now already we know the equation of the circle is x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is 5 square because the center is 2 3 this is a this is b we have already seen that the equation is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square my radius is given as 5 r so this is the equation of circle if you simplify this x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y 4 plus 9 minus 5 13 minus 5 is 8 is 0 this is the most standard form of the equation of the circle let me once again explain the center of the cir circle is 2 3 and radius is 5 and if you take the this is the equation finally this is most important now look at this equation they can ask you the same thing indirectly in a different variety way see the second example please Second example is a circle is passing through a circle is passing through 1 1 and its center is and its center is 2 comma minus 3 find the equation you do not see radius here you do not have the radius he is telling the circle is passing through a certain point and having a center radius is not mentioned first we find the radius and then get back to the same standard form let us see now the here if you take up the same thing let me write this situation 1 1 is the circle is passing through that center is 2 minus 3 this is center given the circle is passing through a I want first CP the radius so radius is radius is CP that is equal to under root the distance between just look at this please minus 3 minus 1 whole square 4 square because I do not want to trouble you much 16 plus 1 root 17 what is this this is the radius because you are finding the distance between these two by distance from like x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square exactly this is radius and already you have the center by our earlier formula the circle equation is x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 3 whole square is equal to root 17 whole square that is it that is the equation of the circle in this case the radius is not directly provided it is indirectly provided to you so first we have to find the distance and then we have to go ahead with the thing now let me explain you the significance of this equation when you simplify this we get the general form of the circle let us go to the third point which is very important let me recall my first point is definition of the circle second point is equation of circle with center and radius given the third point is most important general form of a circle general form of a circle let me just give you general form of a circle general form of a circle where whenever you wanted to study circle you should like in straight lines straight line has a general form ax plus by plus c in the same manner when you simplify circle equation the general form is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 and this can be written as x plus g whole square plus y plus f whole square is equal to g square plus f square minus c please observe whether the above these two are same or not just observe they are once and the same because I get x square right I get y square I get 2gx from here, I get 2fy, I get an extra g square which is balanced by this, one extra f square balanced by this, the plus c of this side is transferred to that side minus c. This can be now written as x plus minus g whole square plus y plus minus f whole square is equal to under root g square plus f square minus c whole square. Please look at this. In the second 
item in the second place we have taken the equation of a circle when the center is known and the radius is given as this one can you compare these two if you compare these two you have a is equal to minus g b is equal to minus f and your radius is equal to under root g square plus f square minus c that shows the center of the circle is minus g minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c once again that means if the circle is given in the general form its center is minus g minus f radius is g square plus f square minus c under root let me give you a small example and test your learning skill let me just to take up a small example I, I just to ask you what is the center of this x square plus y square plus 8x plus 6y minus 3 for this circle I want center and radius now in the place of 2g we have 8 my 2g is 8 therefore my g is 4 here my 2f is 6 and I have f as 3 but center is minus g minus f that gives us minus 4 minus 3 that means the center of this circle is minus 4 minus 3 and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c that is under root 16 plus 9 plus 3 and it is root 28 this is the center of the circle and this is the radius of the circle if you find the equation of the circle using this center and using this radius again you get this you get back so to find the center of the circle first identify g identify f and it is minus g minus f let us take one more example a little bit tricky example and then we'll see how well you do find the center of x square plus y square minus 3x minus 4y minus 1 is 0 my second example in this case your 2g is minus 3 and g is minus 3 by 2 2f is minus 4 f is minus 4 by 2 center is minus g minus f that is 3 by 2 and it is actually minus 2 and 2 this is the center sometimes the in the exam you get a question of this nature please look at this question i am giving an important question the third one is third example is from the exam find the center of the circle 4x square plus 4y square plus 6x plus 7y minus 1 is equal to 0 this is a very important question for exam first of all circle general equation is x square plus y square only but he has given a 4 here so transfer 4 this becomes x square plus y square plus 6 by 4x plus 7 by 4y minus 1 by 4 is 0 dividing this equation everywhere by 4 now x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c 2gx 2g is 6 by 4 2f is 7 by 4 you can write the center g is 3 by 2 f is 7 by 8 minus g minus f is your center so this is minus 3 by 2 minus 7 by 8 is the center if any number is given in front of x square and y square first of all divide with that number and then only find the center and radius this is center 2g is because when you compare with the general equation 2gx this is 2g and this is 2fy this is 2f and 2g 2f are ready this is your g this is your f and minus g minus f gives you the center so let me once again give you a very important this thing the general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 and its center is minus g minus f its radius is under root g square plus f square minus c please look at this we have already derived this and we have seen how we got the center how we have the radius this is very very important when you see look at this it has three constants g f c therefore in your examinations whenever they ask you equation of a circle they always give you three conditions always they provide you three conditions let us see various examples on this so let me once again recall we have defined what is the equation of a circle with center a b 
and radius r. First we have done that. Then we have seen the general equation of a circle. Once the general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is given, you know how to identify the center and radius. Now let us go to the advanced topics because this is the basic definition of a circle and derivation of its equation once center and radius are known and then we have seen the general equation and from the general equation we have found radius and center. Now let us see various aspects on the equation of the circle and please observe circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is not having xy term and let me show you the next concept. These are the basic things equation of circle.